Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Parisno 0.73. Now, when we left off, we had just taken a huge amount of prisoners and potentially gotten trolled, but I don't believe so. Maybe. But I don't think that it's too bad, because we have a very good army right here. We have traveled all the way, as I said in the previous episode, to the Realm of the Falcon. I have recruited a couple more of these fellows, and now... We will be doing battle with some foreign invaders. Now, this is actually quite worrying to me because, as you can see, they have 23 foreign invaders and 11 foreign warlords and only 50 grunts. I was hoping that they would have more grunts, but without further ado, let us head in and take them on. 103 versus 84, but do bear in mind that many of our units are very low level, so we can expect a great deal of difficulty. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Now, how many cavalry do we have? 60. Okay, that's actually not too bad. We might be able to do this. Let's get our archers here. Actually, let's just charge everyone in first. And then we'll get our archers on the hill side. And hopefully they will do a good job. Now, I'm unsure what I should actually be doing in these particular battles. Should I be helping our archer units? Helping our units in general? to defend their positions, or should I be harassing the infantry units of our opponent? Maybe that is what I should be doing, because if we do that, then of course we can take as many units as we like prisoner, which would be quite a good idea. And of course then we don't really get as many foreign invaders, foreign warlords and so forth, which are the main reason I do believe we actually get money, so maybe? Maybe that would be an idea. The foreign grunts do appear to be doing quite a significant amount of damage to our infantry units. So, yeah, and our cavalry, of course, as well, but, hmm. That is precisely the reason why I'm a little bit in two minds about what I should be doing, but I don't know. I mean, I think right now we're basically losing a lot of low-tier units, which is fine. No problem at all there, because the stronger ones, they will grow to be even bigger, they will be even better, and hopefully as a result, they will do even more damage. We are going to have issues with these guys though, so that's why I blocked this fellow. Attempting to block him anyway. Hopefully we'll be... Oh, how dare you, Falcon Scout! Get out your mace and hit him! Don't shoot him with your bow. Ah, okay, well, <laughs> what can you do? Sometimes they get a little bit overzealous when it comes to shooting with their bows. But we have attained victory with a very small amount of losses as well. We only lost 17, which is actually not bad. I mean, I think we may actually lose quite a few more as time goes on in this battle. But yeah, I mean, I don't think it's that bad, is it? I mean, I just did 65 damage to a heavily armored opponent. I think that's pretty nice. And he's using a lance to attempt to damage us, which is never going to happen. Oh, I really wanted to take that guy prisoner, but unfortunately, one of our incredibly effective dismounted knights... Hmm, he vanquished him very easily indeed. Well, what can you do? That's just the way it is sometimes. And, okay, come on. Yeah, there we go. Foreign invader. Now, this is, I do believe, one of the warlords. So I'd like to be able to take him prisoner. No! It's mine! Ah, oh, I only did 25 damage because I had to crush through his block, but thankfully enough, one of our other Realm of the Falcon units was able to take him out. That's great. I like it. That is very nice indeed. So now I do believe we only have one opponent remaining. He's being quite an elusive fellow. And, wow, he was knocked unconscious by one of our inspectors. Excellent. So now that means we have a huge amount of of, wow, huge amount of space, as you can see. Look at that. They had 10 warlords total, and we took 8 of them prisoner. That shows how absolutely amazing our units are right now. So that is great. I like that. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to be swapping these around because it is a little bit more in keeping with what we have on. And there we go. Okay, so now we can head back to Kulvara with an absolutely full contingent of prisoners. And here is Kara! Oh yeah, because you know we lost Kara a while back because, of course, we shall not speak of that incident. But something happened, something bad, and <laughs> we lost a couple of our units right here. So, thankfully enough, we have now regained them. And, oh, actually, yes, one of you told me that selling prisoners individually is going to be more than selling them all at once. So let's just see here. 11,700. Okay. 
I've changed my mind. Well, technically not. Let's take a look. So, 11,700. So, technically we'll have 27,000, 28,000. So, let's test that out, shall we? Whoa! The foreign warlords, they sell for so much. Oh my goodness. And there we go. Yeah, exactly the same, I do believe. Maybe it's dependent on the kind of units that you actually sell. That might be it. So, yeah, we can't actually level up in this screen, so I don't know why I'm trying, but there we have it. Very nice indeed. So, what do we want to do? Well, we have Kara back. Do we want to speak to the Mystic Merchant? Maybe we do, because as you can see, he's actually selling an incredibly nice horse for 19000 though. That's quite expensive. Some of this is absolutely insane, though. Hakon Bronze Gauntlets, for example, 10 body armor, when our gloves give us 4 at the moment. Wow, there's actually some really cool things you can get here. There's a rhino as well, if you wanted one of those. Ceremonial armor for a female character right there. We have, wow, a couple of really nice bows. An ice bow? Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, do I need anything? I don't actually need anything right now, but if I do, then this guy would be a really good guy to come to. As you can see, look at that horse. That horse is just amazing. Okay, yeah. Well, if our horse goes down, then I'll be returning to this fellow, that's for sure. So, let's go back to the moneylenders, and we're going to pay off our debt, at this particular place at least. So, let's make the payment of 6000 There we go. So, technically, from that one prisoner haul, we gained 5000 so that's a good profit, i got to say. That's a very good profit. So is there anything else I can do here? Well, I can sell these things. I'm not going to sell this horse just in case because you never know when this one may become lame at some point. And there's another 400 as well from the loot. So shall we search for a couple more? Or should we? Wait a second. Ah, let's rejuvenate for a little bit. So yes, I'll cut away for that. And I'll see you... No, I don't want to do that. Thank you. I'll see you very soon. And by soon, I mean only one minute later, because I noticed that there were a band of Dezook Slavers right outside here, and they had a huge amount of units, and you know what it means when we have a huge party. We have even more space for even more prisoners. So, we're going to be attempting to take as many prisoners as we can from these particular bands right here, but we're also going to be attempting to rescue every single one of their prisoners as well. So, let's do it. Let's head in. And, yeah, we are outnumbered. We're actually outnumbered in this, but I do believe because we are able to take on the foreign invaders, and they're, in my opinion, a lot more difficult to kill and to take out, I do believe we will be fine. We do need to be a little bit cautious about these guys, though, because they do have piercing maces. Do they have piercing maces? No, I think they have blunt maces. Well, whatever the case, we don't really need to worry about them too much, I suppose. And, no, I don't want everyone to fire at will. They are already doing that, but I would like everyone to charge in. And then our archers to hold position a little bit here. So let's just hope that most of these slavers get taken prisoner, although our dismounted knights are way too good at the moment. Yeah, way too good. Oh my goodness, wow. I have no idea why they're so good, but there we have it. We did knock one of them unconscious, which is always good, but yeah. Okay, let's try it. Let's try and take some of these guys out. I really wish actually I was on my rhino right now. This would make a great deal of difference to taking out these slaves, that's for sure. No! Oh my! Yep, that's exactly it. That's exactly the reason why you do not want to charge in first when you are against a slaver party, because even though the slaves have very little armor on, they are deadly with their bows. Their bows are incredible. So, as you can plainly see, we are, however, knocking, I would say, maybe 80%, maybe 70% of the enemy's forces unconscious, which is really good, really very good. I would not expect that whatsoever, but... Yeah, apparently our archers are so incredibly feeble that they are not able to get any kills whatsoever, but maybe what's happening is they are weakening them. They are weakening our opponents so that our various other units with <laughs> their very nice blunt weaponry can take them out. That's exactly what we want to see. But there it is. We only have seven enemies remaining, and we've only taken nine deaths, which is very, very good. But there it is. Wow, that's actually quite nice. And yeah, these prisoners will also sell for a very good amount too. So yeah, I like it. I like it. So yeah, I have 
checked over your comments a little bit and actually one of you sent me a very interesting private message about how we could go about creating our own Saliva faction, I suppose you could say. And I, I I think that would be really quite cool because what we could do and what you suggested in a roundabout way was that we could get a huge amount of companions from the amount of money that we're making from these ransom brokering transactions and we could also then equip them with blunt weaponry and whatever else they would require and hopefully we could also donate some units to them as well so in theory what we could do is just run around with blunt weaponry only this would of course make us incredibly bad at sieges if we had to do the siege multiple times of course but yeah it seems as though it could be possible but there it is look at that 67 of them were wounded so let us see how many of these we can take hopefully all of them i do believe there are 40 so we have a good amount of space for them and I'm hopeful that... Oh, I was hoping that those last two units would enable us to take even more units, but no such luck. But I do believe we'll be able to take as many as we can. There we go. And unfortunately, we did have to leave 23 behind, which I really did not want to do, because these guys will no doubt sell for a pretty penny. A rather serious amount. So, let us level up our agility, as I stated I would previously, and I think we will be... Hmm... Well, we just died from no apparent reason right there, and shield would not have helped us, but maybe we want to go for athletics or shield, something like that. I'm actually thinking about prisoner management right now, because we do seem to be having difficulties actually getting all of the prisoners into our hold. Shall we do that? We do have the ability to then spec into any agility skill we like in the next level, so I think we'll do that. Why not? Let's make it a nice even five. Technically, it's not an even number, but still. It's a nice even five with the leadership five. That makes ten, which is an even number. Why not? Let's do it. And if you minus seven from ten, you get three. That means Half-Life 3 confirmed? No. That's one of those <laughs> one of those really hilarious memes. Okay, so let us head in to Kulvara once again, and we will be heading over to the tavern. A Dezuk slave girl to purchase. Hmm, I'm wondering why you would want to do that. Do they become something very, very good later on? Maybe they do. Well, whatever the case, let us sell... Whoa, look at that. 11,600. Thank you so much. Oh, my. Okay, so... First off, we want to sell our various loot that we picked up. Not incredibly a lot, of course, but that is fine. And then we're going to be heading back to Matarea because that is one of the places that we... Oh, my goodness, what is this? Oh, okay. I will continue that thought in just a second. You stumble across a small herd of cattle. Do we slaughter them and eat them, continue on, or hunt them for fun? Continue on. I'm not going to be doing anything there, that's for sure. So, let us head on here. Oh, we have a Hekon vassal. I do believe we could actually become so powerful just by slave trading that we would not even need to join a faction. We could actually create our own faction and become some sort of rebellion in the land of Perizno itself. I think that might be quite fun, and we could potentially only use mercenary units if we actually came to it if we came to being so powerful that that was indeed the case so let's hopefully get in there yes thank you very much before the dazook slavers attacked us and let's make a payment of six thousand there we go that has now been paid so we still have twenty six thousand which is an incredible amount of money i do like that a lot and i do believe i'm going to be heading into the tavern just to check out and see what we can do aha hello i am the one in charge of selling off hack on faction mercenaries what mercenaries might I be able to hire? I can hire 14 of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get five for 3,700, and I think that will be fine. And then we'll check out what else is going on here. Mosoru War Riders. Do we want to get more of these? Why not? Let's do it. Four of them for 1,800. That doesn't seem like a very large amount to pay. And what about a tavern shopper? Oh, no. I have better things to do. Leave me alone. Oh, yes. Okay, so is there anything else? Oh, my. A balanced demonic sword? Well, that's going to be way too much money for me right now, but 
It's always nice to look at the items, I gotta say. It's always nice to look at the items. You get more motivated then to get even more money and to get even more slaves, of course. Ah, oh, okay. So, what can we do now? Well, what we can do is rejuvenate ourselves. Ah, oh, and I'm gonna be doing that. So, I'll be rejuvenating and I'll see you when we arrive at one of these other parties. I'm very hopeful that we will be able to... No. Don't attack me, please. I'm not entirely sure whether those guys are actually aggressive towards us right now, but hopefully not. Didn't seem as though they were. And so, we will be resting up, and I will see you once we have engaged a rather suitable party. Okay, so instead of being engaged in battle with a... <laughs> another force of Dezook slavers or foreign invaders or whatever we may happen to come across, we have been granted an offer from the Sultan of Drahara himself. I am... Why? Why Why has he done this? I have no idea. We don't really have... Do we have that much renown? Surely we don't have that much renown. Our honor rating is terrible because we haven't really done anything to warrant any honor. But look at this. He's sent a royal herald to bring you an invitation in his own hand. And we would become a vassal of Drahara. We're going to have to decline that right now. Because even though I would like to, for a potential thief, I suppose, we're making enough money right now. We really don't need to. So, yeah, decline. We're going to have to do that. He hates us now. Well, he doesn't really hate us, but he's not incredibly pleased with us declining that offer. And this is exactly what I love. Whenever you purchase money, or should we say borrow money, you do get... Purchase money. How, why did I say... <laughs> purchase money. I'm just going to go to the bank and purchase money. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so yeah. In other words, what we have right here is our debts. And as you can see, the deadline is May 6th. So if we go over here, we're in April still, so we're actually quite okay. And we have a tournament. Should I do a tournament? No. Should I? No. Uh, yes? No? Ah, uh, I am in two minds about it, because you know me. I'm pretty bad at tournaments, but... We might have some fun. We might have some fun. Oh my goodness, what do I go for here? I don't know which unit. This is actually a really good unit. Okay, I think I chose right. I hope so. Oh, maybe I chose wrong. That would have been pretty sad. Okay, so... Yeah, more Falcon Scouts. A Markswoman. Wow, okay. Sword Sisters. And there we have it. Okay, so we have 125 out of 152. I'd like to take these guys on right now, because as you can see, they have even more in the way of rescued prisoners. So I think we'll do that first, and then we can potentially head back to Kulvara to do the tournament in just a second. So... 125 versus 66. I think we should have a good time here, but do bear in mind that what I would really like to do is take the majority of these fellows prisoner. So let's try and make that happen, shall we? No lancers? No? They have a lot of bardiches, though, or shall we say mini bardiches? I'm not entirely sure what the smaller variants are called, but... Yep, what can we do? Let's do it. Charge in and tell our archers to hold position on that hill there. Thankfully enough, they're all charging me, which is great. Because now we can at least... Oh my goodness, they have a lot of infantry. And a lot of cavalry. Jump over them, yes. Okay, so... So far, everything seems to be going quite well. And I say so far for a very good reason. Oh yes. Okay, come on, take them out. Oh no, 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 no. No lances to the face for me, thank you very much. Hopefully. Oh no. Okay, come on, let's take out some of these guys at least. Take out some of them. Take some damage to them. Yeah, apparently just take some damage to them, apparently. Nothing more. Oh, wow. Okay, I was unable to do any damage to that fellow, even though I thought I had a really clear line of sight. Well, there we are. There's a nice foreign invader. That's not too bad. Of course, my fighting capabilities could use a little bit of work, i got to say. Especially when it comes to fighting like this. Okay, my mount is taking a huge amount of damage, but thankfully enough, we are taking them out. We are taking quite a few of them. I would like to be able to take more warlords, though. As you know, they sell for a huge amount, so let's try that, shall we? Let's try and 
deal some more damage to the Warlords. Oh, I'm sorry, Falcon Scout. I do believe I blocked you there. You might actually get taken out as a result of my actions, maybe? If you stop, you are dead. Oh, look at that lance. It's right there. Oh, I'm so thankful that his horse is really fast. Don't stop, Falcon Scout. You can do this. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't believe he's couching that lance anymore. That's good. Okay, so only two enemies remain, and I do believe one of them is actually routing right now. The other one has just been knocked unconscious, which is excellent. Very good. And yeah, the other one was successful in his escape attempt, so that's not too good. But there we are, another 15 renown, 16 morale. It must be because of our renown that he sent that vassalage offer. But there it is, 34 wounded. And wow, we can actually take so many right now. We need to fight bigger parties. Look at that, we need to fight bigger parties so much. Okay, level up all these guys. It actually makes sense for us to join the Hakon, if anything, because we are using Hakon units, so if anything, I suppose we will be joining them, but that is quite a rare thing. Even though, Perizno, I would love to continue along being a vassal and helping a faction actually attain total victory. I'm unsure whether it fits right now, considering we are such a pillager... Slave trader, evildoer, I suppose you could say. But, of course, we are taking care of business, as it were. We're not preying upon the innocent, as a result. We're actually just taking on the other slavers and the other foreign invaders as well. So, hmm, who knows, who knows? That might actually be the way to go. So, wait a second. I'm not going to spec her just yet. She is our only companion right now, so it appears she will have to take up the reins of being our medic. Because before, I do believe we had someone else with medicinal skills. So, yeah, more intelligence, more surgery, so that we can stop our units dying. That would be nice. So, yeah, I think that will be fine. Should I actually give her the spirited armored rhino? Should I give her that? Let's do it. Why not? She's using a blunt mace as well, which is even better. That means she's going to be taking even more prisoners. I like it. And she's wearing some pretty good boots, too. Pretty good boots, armor, various other things. That's very nice. So, yeah, now we can head back to Kulvara. If we see any other foreign invaders, then we can take them on. But it appears not. And we still have the tournament here as well. So after we sell our prisoners... Ooh, Vixen Riders. Let's do it. Why not? We have enough money... And we can just throw it around, basically, at the moment. Look at that, 10,700. Oh, yes. I know we do have a couple of debts. A couple? Yeah, more than a couple. But, yes, I know we have quite a bit of time to deal with that. And, oh, no, they gave me a bow. You know how I feel about this. Oh, no. Okay. Come on, let's do it. Oh, no. Okay. Oh! Some damage to his mount. No damage to him. That's something I have to work on. Yes, 41 damage. There we go. No, champion fighter. You stole my kill. That means I have, well, difficulties. Ah, there we go. Oh, desert assassin. We took out a desert assassin. Whoa, okay. That's pretty serious. Oh, no. Don't shoot me. The only problem about fighting in the Draharan town is the fact that they are very good at horse archery, I do believe. So, this is going to be quite painful if they get any kind of accuracy against me and look at my accuracy with this bow it is just atrocious okay let's try to shoot this guy oh we hit someone with it and again but I don't want to stand still too long because I have a feeling that they are gonna be much more accurate than I am oh okay oh wow really a thrust with a dagger was able to outrange Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there goes my mount, and I do believe there goes my life. Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, okay. Thank you very much for the practice mount as well. That's just about to die. Okay, come on. Take him out. There we are. Cell sword. That's what you get. Using a thrusting attack against me. How dare you? Okay, this is a little... Oh, no. This is not very good. Okay. Throwing weapons. Oh, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to use the poking attack of this particular javelin. Ah, not very useful. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should just use the throwing component? Maybe? I am just terrible generally with these, so let's just try it. 
Okay. Yeah? I took someone out! Oh! Oh my goodness. It actually happened. Okay. Okay. Well, I suppose I should go first person for throwing these, so let's just take this girl out right here, if I can. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so please, can I take your weapon? Yes, practice dagger. Thank you very much. Oh yes, that's going to be better at least than the throwing weapons. I hope. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. If I was actually good at fighting with mounts, then it would actually make a difference. But, ah, there we are. 51 damage to the mount. I suppose that's always a good thing, just to do damage anywhere. And, what? Did you see that? He just walked over the fence. Ah, oh, I call hacks right here. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> well, what can we do? I suppose the one thing we can do is just charge at them. And see if we can actually deal damage. Is there anyone with a longer sword here? Practice dagger? I should not do the Draharan tournaments. The Draharan tournaments have the worst weapons for me. Absolutely the worst weapons for me. Oh, what's that? Oh no, it's more practice javelins. I thought that was a spear. Okay, it appears that we will have to just protect... Eorin, the shield master? Well, whatever the case, that guy or girl is a beast. Ah, okay. We need to deal some damage to this fellow. Uh, has a shield now. Yes, come on. 24 damage. And there we go. Take out that sword sister. Okay, another bet. Three teams with three fighters, and they've given me a, a dagger at least. That is nice. Okay, go on. Nice charge? No, apparently not. Wow. The reach on this dagger is absolutely atrocious, so... Yeah. That's my excuse for this. Oh, yeah, a little bit of damage to the mount. Yes, there we go. We took out the champion fighter, but I do believe if we don't win, we are going to be eliminated no matter what now, so we need to make sure that we are victorious. Oh, eight damage. Oh, there we go. Take out the horse. That's good. That's good. So now we can just do some damage. We can just go to town on this guy. Maybe. <laughs> if I can get the right swing. Or maybe not. Oh, that's one of ours. Okay. Are you serious? I am actually swinging. I am swinging at this guy, but wow, the angle is very, very unforgiving right there. Okay, come on. Yes, yes, there we go. Overheads. Overheads are where it's at. That's what I like. Oh, and there we go. Wow, okay. It does appear as though I'm scraping by by the skin of my teeth right now. Three teams with two fighters each. And we have a lot of throwing weapons. Oh, there we are. 29. 29 damage. I like it. I think I probably need to go for another charge. And do zero, of course. Oh, there we are. Another 19, or 16. And I've raised the proficiency to 19. That's always good. And again, they walk over the fence, of course. Okay, wait a minute. Where was that fellow that got taken out? I do believe he has a practice dagger. So let's head over there and see whether he... Or does he... Oh, no, he had javelins. Oh, no. Okay. Well, the one thing that I can say that I'm really happy about is that I do have a shield and I do have one of the most powerful units on my team Eorin the shield master I do believe and I hope that she is actually going to help us out right here now I'm trying to find the practice dagger that this fellow had come on give it to me oh there it is yes okay there we go there we go. And take out the Sword Sister. Whoa, okay. Aorin actually got taken out. I had no idea. Is there anyone else? Apparently there is someone else. Okay, where are they? Are they around here? Ah, hello. Okay, well, this is going to be simple enough. Or maybe not. 
Okay, we gotta be careful. No! I have a shield. You do not. Yes, that's what you get. Oh my goodness. Did he come back alive or what happened there? I thought he got taken out by the Sword Sister. Oh, there's some strange goings on right here. Maybe I just didn't understand what was going on there. But Okay, so we are on a horse and we have a dagger. He has throwing weapons. But we know the AI is incredibly good with throwing weapons. So let's try to be cautious. Aha, here we go. Yes, that was some good damage. That was some good damage. This seems like we are tickling them right now. But I think one more hit. Maybe. There we go. One more hit. Thank you. Okay, please give me a dagger on the last round. Please give me a dagger on the last round. Yes! Okay. And do they have a dagger? What do they have? Oh, yes. They have a javelin. Oh, yeah. This is a win, I do believe. This is a win. Yes, come on, take him out. I do believe this is Elrin again, maybe. <laughs> wow, this is pathetic. Oh my goodness. Both of us with equally terrible weapons, but thankfully enough, I was able to attain victory. Very nice. Okay, can I join the feast now? Yes, I can. Oh yeah, let's head in here. And what should we do? Should we actually flirt with some of these ladies? I have no idea, but what I want to do is speak to the Sultan. And I would like to increase our relation. No? Ah. I was hoping that because I won the tournament, I would be able to increase our relation with him, but do you have any tasks? Aha, you do have a task. I tend to pass by <laughs> Teverin Castle. Ah, no. Oh, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Oh my goodness. Apparently... You cannot refuse delivering a message. But there it is. Okay, we did actually win a tournament. I know. Who would have thought it, right? Yeah, who would have thought it? Me winning a tournament. But there it is. I do believe I will be ending this episode of here. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.